Despite that fact that the armed forces of Ukraine liberated Kyiv region three months ago, the capital knows that it remains the number one goal for the aggressor. Kyiv regional territorial defense is in a state of permanent war game. Territorial defense forces of the armed forces of Ukraine are a separate type of forces of the AFU which are responsible for the organization, training and execution of territorial defense tasks. Currently, about 130,000 patriots have joined the territorial defense. At the moment, the forces are becoming more powerful every day. Commanders are trying to use every minute to train personnel, involving foreign instructors for this as well. The majority of soldiers are local. They were collected on February 24th. They are not military personnel, but they are ready to perform combat tasks and go to the combat zone. 99% of the people you'll find in the territorial defense are volunteers. They have a very high morale. On February 24th, few understood what territorial defense was, what the armed forces were, and what was the difference between them. Everyone went to the place where they could immediately get a weapon. Territorial defense were the first who entered the battle when Russia invaded from Belarus. Territorial defense volunteers are highly motivated soldiers because they protect not only their land, they protect their private property and their families. On February 24th, at 7 o'clock in the morning, my mother called me and said, Katya, take your son and leave the city. It was a feeling that Russia would start the war mostly in the east. No one expected that there would be bombings, that there would be mass dangers and risks in Kiev and the Kiev region. At first, there was a sudden numbness, and then a sharp focus, internal focus. I received a call from my friend. He was also in the volunteer battalion. He said, Max, it's on. Let's go. Territorial defense because it is all about defending my land. I took up a machine gun in my hands because I want to protect my property and my family. We dug the trenches exactly in the same place where they were during the Second World War. We are a stronghold of the civilized world. Ukrainians are eternal warriors, because the Ukrainian land is like a frontier, where clashes always occur. A Ukrainian is always a warrior. I'm fighting for Ukraine. We have won many battles, but lost many wars. As for weapons, there aren't enough of them. First of all, we really need long-range and precision-guided weapons. We have no other choice. We can't just give up. No one will agree to it. By the way, our president motivates us very much for this. Today, the morale of the Ukrainians inspires many people. They don't ask to be protected. They don't ask to fight for them. They are asking the only one thing. Understanding and support of the world community. For our children to have a future, is to will and to freedom. We Ukrainians are very cool. We have everything to live happily. The only thing is to tighten up the mechanism of our state management. I see our country as the most successful and prosperous and the very best country in the world. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes.